hey guys welcome back to my channel AG motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 30 second, and background color is white. And simply hit OK. Then go to Choose Grid and Guide option and simply hit on Title Selection. Now over here, I'm going to select my Ellipse tool, and I don't want any fill, so I'll delete this fill. And for the stroke, I'm going to choose let's say four pixels only, just to create one ellipse and by holding shift i am going to create one large ellipse like this now select this shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now go inside this ellipse go inside this ellipse path right click and convert to bezier path like this then go to the base path and create one keyframe now i am going to select my text tool and we will type our text so for the font you can choose whatever font you want i'm going to choose oswald and i'll type my text i'll choose black color let's in decrease the distance between these alphabets like this yeah select this text press ctrl alt home to align the respective anchor point at the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically Select this paint tool, select this layer and just simply create one mask on this layer. Now select this, press M to create mask over here and create one keyframe. Now select this shape layer, go inside this and as you guys know that we have created this keyframe on part. Simply select this part keyframe, hit Ctrl C to copy, select this mask part keyframe and hit Ctrl V. So now uh, this line is replaced with this circle. Now double click on this point so select all this circle and try to adjust it along with this our original circle. Okay now let's hide this shape layer. Now select this text layer go inside this go to the text go to the path options and instead of path none I am going to choose masks. So as you guys can see this text is distributed over here. Now uh, let's choose reverse path on this and let's uh, increase this alignment value like this okay and if you want you can go to the character and you can increase the font size according to your needs let's try to adjust it from here to here and let's increase the distance between these alphabets somewhere around like this okay and try to adjust this first margin according to this let's try to adjust this okay i think this looks good to me so i'll keep it at is it now uh, select the shape layer enable this select this and bring this at the top press s for scaling option and scale it like this and change the color of this one to red one and increase the stroke size until it's going to cover entire text layer okay now go inside this add menu go to the trim part and let's make this end value 50 and change the offset somewhere around over here like this so if you see we will can animate this stuff like this okay and now i'm going to select this layer i'll press f4 to bring my track mat options instead of none i'm going to choose alpha mat now select both the layers and hit ctrl d to duplicate it select this first layer i mean the second text layer go to the character menu and choose white color for the text and black color for the stroke of this text and stroke width i'm going to choose 5 pixels okay now select the shape layer at the top over here and go to the add menu and add trim path or before instead of that you can simply go to the contents ellipse one and trim path one and uh, for this layer over here if you enable this icon as you guys can see we don't need any mask so what you can do you can simply delete this track and you can delete this shape layer okay 
we don't need that so basically now we have two text layers one with this shape layer mask which contains this and another one is at the background which contains fill okay now we will select the shape layer we will go to the trim path and create one keyframe and end zoom in a little bit let's go to around 20 frames and let's make this value zero so we will get something like this okay let's uh, select this and let's move this keyframe forward so we can animate them later now right click new and create one null object and automatically this null object will come at the center over here and now select our ellipse i'm going to delete this stroke or uh, instead of that let's choose white color for the fill and black color for the stroke and stroke width should be 20 pixels and i'm going to create one ellipse and let's make this 10 pixels select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically select the shape layer and we will bring this over here okay let's make this fit now select the shape layer press p for position create one keyframe go to around 20 frames create another keyframe and in at the start i'll move this somewhere around over here it should touch this line so we'll get something like this then go to around one second and now i'm going to select the shape layer and i'll make it apparent with this null object over here so at this point i'm select going to select this null object i'll press r create one keyframe go to around one second maybe and i'll rotate it let's say minus 180 so it will come over here then i'll create one keyframe at position of this then i'll go 20 frame forward again and i'll move this over here again go 20 frame forward copy this keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v select this hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance and choose time reverse keyframes so it will come like this so if you see we will get something like this like this and then at this point i'll select this i'll create one keyframe then go 20 frame forward copy the first keyframe like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 okay now go to the graph editor select this graph first of all right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph then select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so we'll get something like this then at this point i'll select this move this handle over here and move this handle over here this should be over here select this and this should be over here then again select this move this handle over here and move this handle over here okay so if you see we will get something like this now after that i'll go to the start i'll select the shape layer and i'll hit u so we can see this i'll select those keyframe and i'll move them over here and let's move this over here so we'll get this kind of animation over here go to this portion select those keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframe like this okay and at this point i'll hit n and let's make this fit so if you see this now we will get something like this if you want you can select this layer go to the character menu and you can choose two pixel stroke also like this okay and then press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this at backward right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and you can search for tint effect to apply and you can swap these colors and instead of black if you want you can choose somewhere around like this also then select this layer and let's try to bring this over here so if you see this stuff now we will get something like this okay and simply press f4 and select all of them and enable the motion block okay so as you guys can see we will get this animation in the form of loop okay so this is our final output